Hey everyone, Sid Bolton from the Personal Computer Museum here, and today I'm taking a look at Star Wars Battlefront 2, and this is the uh, Resurrection DLC. Now, Star Wars Battlefront 2 has seen its fair share of controversy, mostly over the whole loot box situation, so I'm going to do my review of the Resurrection DLC based upon my own personal perspective. So, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, I have been for over 35 years, and I'm also Canada's top video game collector, so it's pretty clear that I love video games as well. Put the two together, well, <laughs> I'm pretty much in heaven, right? The other thing that I should mention is that multiplayer in most games does not really appeal to me. Uh, I played the last Star Wars Battlefront with a bunch of friends once, and that was great. But just playing randoms online does absolutely nothing for me. So when I heard the Battlefront 2 had a single-player campaign, I got really excited for that. So I played through it. I really enjoyed the story. I didn't know what to expect, and although people complained it was a little short, I thought to myself, well, it's longer than any Star Wars movie, so it's not that bad. Shorter than many games, but longer than a movie, so it's somewhere in between. So here we are with the free Resurrection DLC, and I agree that it probably should have just been included in the original game. Um, they say it was held back because of The Last Jedi, the movie coming out, which came out after the, the game was first released. Well, there's not really much of a connection to the movie, so that part doesn't really make sense to me. I think that they probably just needed some more time to uh, get the rest of this campaign stuff done, and, and that's fine. Um, to, for me, to be honest, the ship fighting parts of this game are not my favorite, so that wasn't exactly thrilling for me. Um, I find them rather difficult, uh, mostly because of the controls, so either that or I just suck, I'm not sure, but overall I still had fun, and although it doesn't add much more than an hour or so onto the game, it was an excuse for me to step back into the Star Wars world again, and for that reason alone, it definitely gets some points. So I'm going to rate Star Wars Battlefront 2 Resurrection DLC a 7 out of 10. If you are a Star Wars fan, just go get it and play it. You'll be glad that you did.